I decided that I wanted to make a doll chair that was halfway between the size of the tiny doll chair, the little beach chair, with the stripes, and um, so halfway between that and the big red one. And my husband found, I was doing math like crazy and working on, you know, rummaging around trying to find sticks. And my husband went out to the garage and found this folding thing that um, was broken and had been given to us years ago. And he said, I think that's perfect for you to make your chairs. So I am just about to go downstairs and cut it all apart and make those lovely little slats into dolly chairs. Woohoo! I wanted to show you the um, the construction process of the uh, chairs and to give you the measurements and to show you what the chairs look like uh, on their side with the uh, support piece not in the notch and here's what it looks like from the back and of course from the front. Now the uh, I did all the measurements in centimeters just because they were whole numbers and not crazy little, you know, 16, 30 seconds, you know, 14, 64 and so that was just much easier. So um, I, I labeled when I was making it, I thought of the longest side pieces are A. So this is what A looks like from the front. It's this piece here. C is the widest piece and it goes outside of, it pivots off of the upper side of A and it only has one dowel. B rides inside A. This is B riding inside of A. Now, the A and B Okay, A and B both have a dowel at each end. So here's, you can see, uh, I think it's easier to see on this chair. There's the dowel on the bottom of uh, B. This is the dowel on the top uh, end of the, the side bars. Um, Here's the dowel on the top of A and the dowel on the lower side of A. The seat is attached to the, it's, I, I wove the seat on the saffron loom, the Mirix saffron loom, which I dearly love, and stitched the um, at the top of the A, I stitched the, here, I, I'll use a little crochet hook as a pointer rather than my finger. Okay, I stitched the um, top of the, of the seat panel is stitched to the top um, uh, dowel of the A sticks. It's not stitched to the the bottom dowel of the A, it's stitched to the top dowel of the B. And that's what gives you the hammock effect of the, of the, um, of the seat so that it's able then to, you can see how it droops. So here you can see, see how it's stitched to the top of A and to the top of B. So B has the notches, A has two pivot points, C only has the one dowel at the bottom and that dowel is going to fit into the notch on B. So the top pivot point 
is for the top uh, end of C. The lower pivot point on A is for the pivot point. There's only one pivot point on B, and that fits into the, um, the hole, uh, the pivot point on A. So we have two pivot points on A, one pivot point on B, one pivot point on C. I will, I'm going to take a photograph of, <clears throat> sorry, that's my shadow. We have a solar tube in our, in the studio. And so you can see, ta-da, that's me trying to stay out of the, uh, trying to stop myself from making a big shadow. Okay, so I'll take a picture of the um, A, B, and C this way, and I will um, then um, post, um, I will uh, put the numbers uh, on top of uh, those so that you have the dimensions. And the, um, the dowels, uh, you make two dowels. The dowels are uh, uh, for A, they, A, these, this dowel, and this dowel, you cut them um, 11 centimeters wide. B, the centimeters, this is B here, B is 9 centimeters wide, and C down here is 13, so that the three panels fit inside themselves. Now, um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll also take a picture of those and put the dimensions on those too, so that I'll put, I'll uh, put those still photos into the video as well, so that you have those dimensions. And um, match your, um, match your drill uh, bit to the size of uh, dowels that you used. I think I used quarter inch dowels and a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, uh, test drill some um, sample holes first and test your um, test your uh, your dowel in a sample scrap piece of wood before you um, insert your dowels into the um, into the cross pieces of the of the wood and. Uh, the, I used scrap wood for the sides, and you can use anything you want, but I will measure and take the, that dimension. Okay, I will stop the camera and now take the individual photographs with the dimensions. Ooh, so many pieces. So I've got all the markings on them. Now I need to go and cut them to length and uh, drill all the correct holes in the right places. Uh, two different sizes for pivots and dowels. Oh my. Ooh. Well, I've got all the um, cutting and drilling. Um, two sets, two sizes of holes for the pivots and the dowels. And all the sanding done. And now, some assembly is required. Well, rather a lot of assembly. There, they are assembled. Now the little chairs are ready for me to um, paint them. I'm going to paint one of them turquoise, one of them red, and I haven't decided if the third one will be black or white. I'll decide later. There, I have the little chairs painted. I'm quite pleased with the colors. I like those colors. And, of course, I need to weave some seats for them. So I've got my saffron loom. Oh boy, I love the saffron. It's just an amazingly wonderful little loom. I've put cardboard um, in the middle, you can see there, um, because I'm going to be putting, um, uh, well, I'll show you why later why, uh, why I've done that. But I'm going to be using a pattern from my book, Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom. There we go. And the saffron loom to weave some very nice chair seat covers for the little chairs. 
there I've woven the seat to the little blue chair using the pattern called Square Dance in the Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom book. Just get that sewn on and the teddy bear can sit in her new chair. I'm so pleased with the way the little um, wooden chairs turned out. I used the um, different patterns and instructions from Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom to weave the seats for these three little chairs. Now the chairs are not one of the projects that um, uh, are in the book. Uh, sorry about that, but the seats all uh, are the inf uh, information for how to weave these fabrics are all in innovative weaving on the frame loom and the um, the dolls I wove on weaving sticks these three dolls are woven on weaving sticks with brown paper yarn that I spun and um, the loom that I used for weaving the um, the chair seats is the saffron loom which I just love boy it's a it's just a dandy little loom so I'm going to be doing lots more with it because um, Merix Looms and I are working together to uh, put together a starter kit which will combine innovative weaving on the frame loom with the Merix saffron woohoo what a great combination so, happy weaving, happy woodworking, happy spinning, and happy upcycling. Take good care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.